Hello, I want to show you today this book I have. It's called University Physics, Volume 1. This is the seventh edition, and it's by Sears, Zemansky, and Young. And it's got a really cool cover. Nice and fancy. I like the gold letters. I don't know. It's just nice. Heavy. It's got a lot of weight to it. Let's go ahead and just take a look at this book. In this video, we're just going to open it up, and we're going to take a look inside the book. We're going to look at the exercises, uh, whether or not there's answers, the explanations, and, and the topics. Um, physics is a tough, tough um, course to take. University physics uh, is often the name of the course in college uh, where you take physics, depending on the college, but that could be the name of the course. Um, I took uh, university physics one, two, and a, a third one as well. And I really struggled with the first two, and this is the first one. This is volume one, so. I'm assuming this is for the first course. Let's open it up and check it out. Volume 1, University Physics, 7th edition. Here are the people who wrote the book. Francis Sears, late Professor Emeritus, Dartmouth College. Mark W. Zemansky, late Professor Emeritus, City College of the City of New York, City University of New York. Hugh Young, Professor of Physics, Carnegie Mellon University. Let's see if there's a date on when this book uh, was. 1986. 86. Yeah, 86 is when they wrote this book. That's a long time ago, 86. It's been a while. 1986 is a while ago. Let's take a look at the contents of this book. Let's see what we got. Starts with units, physical quantities, and vectors. Cool. Motion along a straight line, average velocity, instantaneous velocity. A lot of these things um, you study in calculus. I think for me, one of the struggles with physics was I took physics together with calculus at the same time, and I had a very hard time uh, with just basic algebra. My math was just not very good, um, and I struggled hard. Um, I made it, you know, I, I did okay. Motion in a plane. Newton's laws of motions. I think I got B pluses in physics one and two or Bs, and then an A in the third one. So, but there were people who got hundreds on the tests, you know, pretty, pretty impressive. Work and energy. Impulse and momentum. Rotational motion. Tons of physics in this book. So much knowledge. So much knowledge. Equilibrium of a rigid body. Periodic motion. Elasticity. Fluid mechanics. Then we have temperature and expansion. Quantity of heat. Mechanisms of heat transfer. Thermal properties of matter. There are so many chapters in this book. That's chapter... We're on 17 now, right? That's quite a bit. The first law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics. Molecular properties of matter. Mechanical waves. Vibrating bodies. Acoustic phenomena. Wow, so much content uh, in this book. It's just completely insane. So first let me just tell you this book does have answers to the odd numbered exercises. Let me show you. Um, it has, you know, answers, but they're numerical answers, right? This is a physics book, so it's not like a math book where there's, um, you know, little proofs and stuff or, you know, it's, it looks sparse because they're just giving you the answer, like just the numerical answers that you should get. Um, it's interesting when you look at the solutions to a physics book and you compare it to uh, the solutions of a math book. It, it's just very different, right? It's very, very different. Because everything here is just computational, you see. So, yeah. Let's, let's go to some of the contents of this book and let's look at some physics. What do we have here? Oh, some, some mathematics. Vector A has magnitude 6 units and is in the direction of the x-axis. And B has magnitude 4 units and lies in the xy plane, making an angle of 30 degrees with the x-axis and the angle of 60 with the y-axis. Find the vector product A cross B. 
from equation 125, the magnitude of the vector product is, oh cool, from the right hand rule, nice, right? So they go through it there, it's pretty cool. So it's got a lot of mathematics and lots of exercises. Find the scalar product a dot b of two vectors a and b in exercise 130. Find the magnitude, okay. If a and b have the same magnitude, under what circumstances will their vector sum have the same magnitude as a or b? Derive a result, yeah, so that's, the, yeah, a lot of, lot of, lot of questions to be answered. Instantaneous velocity, so that's a derivative, right? And instantaneous velocity is a derivative here. It's defining it. In the notation of calculus, the limit, delta x, delta t, as delta t approaches zero, is written dx dt and is called the derivative of x with respect to t. Thus, instantaneous velocity is defined as v is the limit as delta t approaches zero of, and you have that ratio, delta x over delta t, and that's equal to tx dt. Cool. Instantaneous velocity. So this is the stuff you learn if you take, um, at least in the US, like a physics one course. You would, you would study this stuff. It would probably be on your first test, you know, this velocity stuff, acceleration, position. It's, it's really not that bad. And they give you formulas. So in physics, for those of you that don't know, they give you, there's formulas. And there's more formulas, I feel, than in, like, just a regular math class. Um, so you have a lot more formulas. See, here's a formula. There's one. So you have a lot more formulas to use, which is good and it's bad. You just have to know all the formulas and just do practice problems where you apply the formulas. And then you're good, right? As long as you apply all the formulas to some problems, um, then you will have a general idea of how to uh, progress and you'll learn, you'll learn, you'll get better at solving physics problems, you know, because you get better at solving problems by, by solving problems, by actually doing problems, that's the thing. Um, so this book is pretty good for self-study, I think. I mean, there's, there's other really good physics books out there too. This one is just one that I happen to have and I like it because it has answers to the odd numbered exercises and it has examples and plenty of exercises. And it's a big book, it lays, it lays flat. It's a very, very big book. Yeah, pretty cool. Anyways, the book is University Physics by Sears, Zemansky, and Young, volume one. Nice book on physics. I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.